Hey, what's up guys? So today I am floating because I wanted to showcase this amazing boat. Look at it. I just found it just floating here. You find all sorts of crazy stuff like this in RL Craft. But anyway, we'll get straight into it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Alright. So, first off, we've got our crafting table, we've got a brewing stand. You'll see what they're for later. Today I am going to show you how to fix your temperature. So I'm going to show you some of the basic things and some of the more advanced things. Okay, so let's do it. So first off, we've got wool. So if you're cold and you've just started the game and you're worried about getting hypothermia, which I got a lot of and you will get a lot of in this game, pretty much all you need is some wool. First thing you can craft is woolen armor. Woolen body, woolen hat, woolen legs, and finally, woolen boots. Alright, so, this is woolen armor. Let's chuck it on quickly. So if you're in an ice biome, and you're feeling a bit cold, a bit hypothermic, this is what you grab. Now, as I said earlier, you can make woolen armor by either taking out sheep and grabbing their wool, or you can make it by using a flint knife and cutting grass around the place and then just refining that grass turn it into string, turn that string into wool if you can't find any sheep pretty straightforward now the second one if you're too hot and you need to cool down then you've got something cool called ice armor so we'll make that same deal you gotta get, find ice blocks so you'd have to go to a winter area which would cool you down anyway but it give you a chance to make this and here we go also it's a nice armor because like see it's see-through you can still see my tag nomad and yeah this is a pretty cool armor it actually offers not bad defense either and I think I just broke something did I break something I don't know but doesn't matter so yeah you can get this armor and this will keep you cool during summer there's also another thing you can get and it's called a season clock you can get this pretty early so to get a season clock all you need is a piece of redstone and some nether quartz and you actually come across nether quartz and you actually come across nether quartz in the overworld and that gives you a season clock and this season clock will tell you exactly what part of the year you're at summer spring autumn winter and yeah it can be very useful because then you can kind of know what you're getting into so I'd highly recommend getting one of those as soon as possible. Next up, you got your temporary fixes. So pretty much, if you can find blazers, which you can, if you find the graveyard, which there's plenty around RL Craft, you can get a blaze rod, you can turn that into blaze powder. So you can use blaze powder to make cooling fabric. So this can actually attach to your armor, whatever armor you choose, and it binds to it, and it'll keep you either cool or hot. So, in this case, you use frost powder to do cooling liner, see? So you mix the frost powder with the goo, just standard slime, you can find that pretty easy, and you get your cooling goo. Now another good use for the cooling goo, and an easy early game one as well, is this. A goo pack cool, and you can get a goo pack hot, and this here, you just need paper, some seeds, cooling goo, more paper, and pretty much what it does, it is, I'll just grab one, and I'll grab one of the other one too. It's pretty much the same with the heating paper too, you just use the same stuff. Alright, what it does is you crack it open, and see? So I cracked it open, and now this is going to keep me cold for 7-8 minutes. So that's really good, because you need this, you need these things. Also, you can crack open your heating goo pack, and that'll keep you warm for 8 minutes. So yeah, those are a few of the things, early game, that you can get started with. Now... There is potions and stuff, but I will cover potions in a later episode. But yeah, if you're just starting out, honestly, get some wool, find yourself some ice, make those armors, and you should be good to go. What is this at the back of the ship? Is that meant to be a propeller? Wow, that's a propeller and a half. Alright. Anyway, I'm going to be staying warm with this. They're not super hard to build, but pretty much you build this, you build this, and this here is a heating coil, and this is a cooling coil. So it's sort of like a, cool electric heater type deal. So if we get a, um, where are you? If we get a lever, yeah, and we attach it to this, 
boom, boom. You can cool the place down, you can heat the place up. And it looks pretty cool too, the way it glows and there's some, you know, particles coming off it. It's pretty good. And I think you can get that pretty early game too. Let's have a look. Okay, so you need four frost rods, just some cobblestone and redstone. So it's actually pretty easy to get. You could get this early game. You could at least get the heating one early game. No sweat, no sweat. So for in your house, really good option. I'm actually going to put one on my main house too. And for outside of the house, well, you've got your woolen armor and your ice armor, which I've got on right now. And yeah, so that's pretty much the basics of how you cool yourself down. And uh, next episode, I will be doing bubbles. And bubbles are super important, so make sure you catch that episode because you need bubbles in this game if you want to enjoy it. Anyway, that's me for this episode. You have a good one. I think I just broke another block. Yep. Always breaking blocks. Anyway, yeah, have a good one. Okay, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys, and check out this pirate ship. It is beautiful. Alright, see you later.